All right, hello, wine drinking people. It is already halfway through the month of February. Man, it's a month that's on fast forward, but uh, we've had three or four, sometimes five wine events a week. Getting ready to take down some Chateau Lafitte tonight at Cafe Max and already starting to think about next week's events, which most of them are sold out. We've got uh, Armando Fuminelli at uh, the Mike High on Monday night, Tuesday night, a private event in the store. Wednesday night, we've got Julie Fisher from Fisher Vineyards at the Ritz Carlton Via Luna. Thursday night, Rob Sweeney's here at the store. That event sold out. We really didn't even have it on the calendar, but we just called a few people and know Rob. We've been selling the wines from Vinecliff for, well, since the very beginning. He's got a lot of fans. I'm going to be in New York City on Friday night. And then Saturday, I'm already starting to think about Burgundy. Alex Gamble's tasting the 2010s here in the store. And today, or this week, I had one of my suppliers walk in and say, man, we have these Domaine Charles Odon wines on closeout. I said, send me everything that you have. Because you know in Burgundy, it's not going to be that much. It's not like they make 100,000 cases of any, you know, one wine in Burgundy, just usually a few hundred. And this is a small domain that is on the move in Marcinet, uh, making some great wines. Marcinet at the very northern end of the Cote de Nuit Appalachian. And they make some fabulous rosés. There isn't that a beautifully colored rosé from the Pinot Noir varietal. And uh, for $15.75, a fan fantastic value and uh, we only have 40 bottles it's not like we got a ton of any of these wines but the price is way right let me tell you for $15.75 this wine has that lovely minerality you get from Marsani Rosés a little flinty and a smoky note to the raspberry and strawberry fruit some pretty floral notes there as well uh, bright and fresh on the tongue this 2010 vintage really classic vintage from Burgundy even the entry level wines the Rosés are just fantastic wonderful freshness bright fruit drinking beautifully we got some 2008 vintage wines the uh it's a very cooler vintage a classic here this marsani blanc though is showing some lovely ripe fruit on the nose peach and delicious red apple some white floral notes and a honey character to the bouquet lots of juicy fruit on the tongue but again classic vintage a lovely freshness some chalky mineral like notes showing on the finish but a rich creamy texture to this wine and a really classic vintage for whites lovely uh, freshness that little honey character showing through on the finish for 22 bucks you don't get bordeaux bourgogne rouge from most producers for that price hey speaking of bourgogne rouge we've got one on this offer 17 and a quarter from uh, 2009 and top value according to the berg hound i didn't get to taste this wine because we only have one case of it but 17 dollars and 25 cents a great price and then the fix in we're fixing to drink us some charles odon this is le rosier these wines have vineyard names on them they're not premier crew but uh very uh, good wines, all of them. The 2008 Rosier, a really nice bit of earth shown in barnyard to this wine. Classic Burgundy, some dark spices, black raspberry, cherry fruit, a cooler vintage. So showing some of that coolness uh, on the palate with lovely freshness. Some tannins creeping in there on the end. A good bit of tension in this wine, as usual, in thick sun. And uh, bright acidity, though, and uh, the chalky mineral notes showing through on the finish. This wine needs a little food, but a very good example of this appellation. And then the Marsani Rouge, Le Longeron or however you say that anyways light earthy aromas in this wine also but more fruits lovely black cherry black raspberry some floral notes uh some black truffle here in this wine too some really pretty bouquet in this marsani rouge and a nice freshness on the palate very lively as i mentioned before these 2008s uh really showing wonderful freshness and a fine silky tannins in this wine tart cherry fruits and rounding out nicely on the finish, but uh, still got some years to go in this wine, even for a village wine from Marcinet and Fixin, you could hold on to these wines in your cellar for three to five more years. Excellent juice at $22 again. Check it out. All the values we've got from Ardone on this email. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.